Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Candace and I post gardening videos. This year I'm going to be putting in a large cut flower garden and selling bouquets in addition to fruits and vegetables. Today's video is going to be all about the very difficult flower to grow, Lysianthus. I'm going to quickly touch on the varieties that I'm growing and then how I started them from seed. It's been a couple weeks now and we already have some little Lysianthus babies, so I'll show you those also. And one more thing is I will be announcing the winner to this seed giveaway that I'm currently hosting on my Instagram. So make sure if you entered, then stay tuned to the end to find out if you won. So if you don't know, uh, Lysianthus is a flower that is primarily grown as a cut flower. They look a lot like a rose, if you can't tell already. Uh, sometimes they are called Texas bluebells or prairie gentian or genetian. Uh, and then they're also called eustoma. They're a tender perennial in some places, but they're usually grown as an annual for, again, for cut flowers. Uh, they're an extremely long-lasting flower in the vase. Uh, usually get at least two weeks. Some people say a lot longer than that, uh, closer to three. Uh, they get about two to three foot tall. Uh, some varieties a little shorter, some a little taller. Uh, they do, uh, I've read that they do like cooler weather when they're first, you know, beginning to grow, but they like really hot, dry conditions. They don't like uh, staying wet. They want to dry out a little bit. Uh, between waterings, not completely dry, of course, but um, just a little bit. They don't like staying really wet. Uh, they do like fertile soil, and that's about it whenever it comes to growing them. Now, starting them from seed, that's a little bit different story. To get these guys to germinate, I started them in a peat moss and cocoa coir mixture. I did add a little bit of perlite that I crushed pretty good, but in retrospect, I wish I wouldn't have even added the perlite just because, like I said, these are so small when they're starting out and they stay small for a really long time. They take several, several weeks to even get about an inch tall. But I used the peat moss and cocoa coir. I filled up my trays. Uh, I used a 72 cell tray for this, but that's another thing. I would have probably used a 128 or a 200 just because, again, they're so small. But I don't know. Maybe the 72 cell will be better because I could leave them in there the entire time and not have to worry about potting them up into anything larger. But I seeded these guys, and then all I did was put them under my grow lights. I put the little humidity dome over them, and after about, oh, maybe 10 days, uh, they started to germinate really well. I had one germinate pretty quickly, and then the, the all the rest uh, took a little bit longer. Uh, this is one that, you know, usually takes two weeks. You know, <laughs> a lot of things when it says two weeks, um, it happens much quicker, but this is one that actually took about two weeks. And as you can see from this clip here, they are extremely tiny. I tried to show you uh, using this little label marker just how tiny they are. And you'll also notice a lot of algae. Uh, you do want to keep these pretty moist from everything else that I've read from other people that grow them. They like to be a lot more wet while germinating than most things. But once they germinate, then you want to back off on the misting or the bottom watering. All right, so that is what I did to start my Lysianthus and a few growing tips that I have learned. Hopefully they help you. Now the only thing left to do is to announce the winner of the seed giveaway. Really quickly before I announce the winner, I just wanna say thank you for everyone that participated and shared the video and tagged their friends. Uh, it really did help a lot. I really do appreciate it. 
Uh, I am trying to get my channel monetized right now. So every view helps. Um, every minute watched on my videos help uh, because you may or may not know. But in order to get monetized on YouTube, you do have to have 4,000 subscribers and I'm sorry, 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time, not minutes, hours. Um, so it's still going to be a while before that happens. Um, but, you know, thanks to everyone that has you know, shared and things like that. It, it really has helped. So I just wanted to quickly say thank you for that. And then I also just wanted to talk really quickly about why I did this giveaway. I know one of the reasons that I first wanted to start a garden was to help supplement some of the produce um, by growing them instead of having to purchase them at a grocery store. Uh, one reason was to save money. And then the other was, you know, just because it's healthier, you know, to eat food that's not sprayed with who knows what. And I know that I really didn't have a big budget for seeds. So one of the reasons I did this was to hopefully, you know, have someone win this that really wants to start a garden, but maybe it isn't in their budget. Or maybe just someone that really wants to grow flowers, but again, it isn't in their budget. Um, although I have not been working since being rear-ended, uh, I am lucky enough to have the money to invest in this cut flower garden for next year, which I'm very thankful for. And I just really wanted to try to take the opportunity to give someone else that chance that, you know, maybe, you know, it, it's not in their budget uh, because flowers really can put a smile on your face, especially if you share them. Um, I'm, I'm always giving flowers to my neighbors and it just, it makes me feel good to make someone else feel good. And even if you're not able to share the flowers or the vegetables that you grow, I hope that you are maybe able to, to share some of the seeds. That's my only request to the winner of this giveaway. Now, I won't make you wait any longer. I will go ahead and let you know. The winner is Amy Schmelzer. Sorry if I butchered your last name, but Amy Schmelzer, congratulations. You are the winner. I just need you to message me on Instagram and let me know your address and which kit you would like. So just send me a message and I will get those out in the mail for you. And if you didn't win, just make sure you are subscribed and you have notifications on my YouTube channel because I still have lots of seed saving videos uh, left to edit and I usually do a giveaway with each type of seed. So I think the next one's gonna be how to save celosia seeds. So just keep an eye out and you may win the next seed giveaway. Thanks again and I will talk to you in the next one.